So we're going to continue topic 6.10 um, with example 1b. Um, we are still doing long division. So I'm going to set up my long division first. So I have um, on the inside, I've got x cubed plus 3x squared plus 8x plus 19. And then usually we do this on the inside, but I'm going to choose to do this on the outside. Notice I am missing a term. So I really have x squared plus 0x's plus 5. And that might help me keep things a little bit more organized. So first thing I do is I ask myself, how many times does x squared go into x cubed? And it goes in x times. Then I'm going to distribute this through. x times x squared is x cubed. x times 0x is 0x squared. x times 5 is 5x. Now we are going to distribute a negative, and I'm going to go ahead and subtract. So x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 3x squared minus 0x squared is 3x squared. 8x minus 5x is 3x, and then I'm going to drop the 19. Now I'm going to ask myself, how many times does x squared divide 3x squared? goes in three times. Three times x squared is three x squared. I'm distributing. Three times zero x is zero x. Um, three times five is 15, and then we are going to swap our signs. So three x squared minus three x squared is zero. Three x minus zero is three x, and then 19 minus 15 would be four. So on the top, our remainder would be 3x plus 4 divided by x squared plus 5. So let's rewrite our integral here. So I'm really integrating. This is an equivalent integral to x plus 3 plus 3x plus 4 over x squared plus 5 dx. All right. Now I'm going to split it into a number. Uh, I'm going to split up the integral. Um, so I'm going to do the integral of x dx plus the integral of 3 uh, 3dx plus, I'm going to split these into separate integrals um, over this same denominator. So I'm going to say 3x divided by x squared plus 5dx plus the integral of 4 over x squared plus 5dx. All right. So this one here looks, I'm just going to integrate these first two. So the first one would be x squared over 2, and the second one would just be 3x. So I'm going to deal with one integral at a time. Um, I could bring that 3 out in front, and then I've got x over x squared plus 5 dx. So we know this, that this is probably some kind of u substitution. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to use that as the u. So u equals x squared plus 5. Um, that means that du is equal to 2x dx. And I notice that I don't have the 2, so I have to multiply top and bottom by 2 and take that 2 and move it inside. So I'm going to rewrite a little bit. So we have 3 over 2, the integral of 2x over x squared plus 5 dx. All right, so I have all the pieces for my u sub. I'm going to go ahead and start doing my u sub part. So I know that the orange is going to become the u, and the 2x dx is going to become the du, and technically there's a 1 on top. So when I integrate 1 over u, I know that I get the natural log of the absolute value of u, and then I'm going to substitute back in the u, so natural log absolute value of x squared plus 5. And then, of course, these guys are going to come down, um, and we're going to have those in front, x squared over 2 plus 3x. Really, I should be writing those out on every single line. All right, I'm going to rewrite this one here as 4 the integral of x squared plus 5 dx. Now this might not look like it, but this is actually an arc tangent. It's with this being the u squared and this being the a squared. It's a really basic arc tangent. So this one is actually your u equals x and your a equals the square root of 5. 
So when I do integrate this, remember to arc tangent, I get a 1 over a out front. So 1 over square root of 5 arc tangent of u, which is x over a, which is square root of 5, plus c. And of course, I'm just going to bring this down to the bottom. So I would have 4 over square root of 5 arc tangent of x over square root of 5 plus c.